Greetings all, Vanny here for Virgo's Weekly Message. Virgo, the first card that came out for you is the Ace of Cups. I love seeing anything to do with emotions related to the Earth signs because many of my fellow Earth signs, um, me being Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, very heavily in the Earth energy. <laughs> Water and Earth coincide so closely together. The emotions that we feel translate so much into our physical reality. When we suppress and reject, deny, or hide from our emotions, it becomes a very toxic, volatile situation because our earth, the energy that we are founded upon, is unstable and at, like, I'm thinking of the tectonic plates and like how at a certain point the pressure is going to build high enough that it is going to explode you are going to explode and so for the ace of cups to be coming out i feel there are many of my fellow earth signs and i especially love it being the virgos that are wanting to have more emotional security and stability awareness and responsibility for what they feel instead of being so tied to the reactions that their emotions have and carry in themselves because absolutely your thoughts and energies carry emotions and emotions are just energy in motion and it has such a powerful effect and impact on us that when we just let it exist and continue on in a in a hostile or negative way it is just going to continue to corrupt and destroy our earth and it's just I, I'm feeling like what should be a a lush green forest is fiery and ashen and burned. And there is a time and a place for fire energy that your earth can heal from. But this is more what I'm feeling is um hurt and needing to make yourself feel stronger, feel bigger in an attempt to protect yourself again because with the three of the three of pentacles and the six of wands in reverse cards that are normally community celebration brotherhood sisterhood it's feeling very isolated like i can't trust people i can't let people into what i am building and what i am doing because they're going to destroy it again because they're going to take it from me again And understandably, there is healing that needs to be done from that. And being on my own healing experience, I can understand that. And further, like the Knight of Cups was in the bottom. And I'm like, well, that makes sense. But also he's come out a lot today. But no, the message is the message. You have to go on a journey where you're discovering what it is you do and do not want, my love. Who you are and who you are not. Because oftentimes when people come in and disrupt what it is we have we have emotion in, they disrupt how we are thinking about ourselves and how we view ourselves because we pour so much of our energy, our life, our time, and the things that we associate with ourselves into this project, creation, whatever it was, and then to have people nitpick it, tear it down, it is all a personal hit. And so much so related to how we feel about ourselves and so you have to go on a journey separating who you are and what you want from this person this energy that was trying to control and manipulate what it is you were doing and the only reason that they were doing that is because you have an ability to do something that they do not and instead of standing up and facing their own fears they, they decided to tear you down. They decided to make you feel like you were not enough. And so they were there to throw in the monkey wrenches when you were trying to think, when you were trying to win, and to, to try to make your life. They were the ones telling you you couldn't do it. They were the ones telling you that this isn't right, that this isn't your path, because you frankly scared the shit out of them. Because you were not afraid 
of their self-limiting beliefs. You did not agree to their mindset and what they thought they could do. You're like, no, I, I can do something better. And it frankly terrified the shit out of them because you reflected in them something that they were not doing, something that they could not do. And there are one of two reactions, awe and inspiration or anger and destruction. You have plant medicine truth. You don't have to continue to accept the lies that they were telling you. You don't have to continue to accept the fabrication that they were trying to make you subscribe to. What they said you needed. Especially, I especially feel that sense with medication and how heavily it is pushed. My teachers always told my parents that I needed to be put on medication because I wasn't normal. I wasn't social. I wasn't talking to people. But when my brother was put on medication, he became a different person. He became a shadow of himself. He just, no. And so in, instead of being taught to accept who we are and learn how to work with our brains, learn how to work around the drawbacks that our brain shows us, we are taught to just swallow down a pill, swallow it down, swallow it down because you have to be a good sheep, because you have to be a good plaything but we're we're gonna shake all that up we're gonna shake it away think about the reaction when people start to hear a snake's rattle there's fear because they don't know what's where it's coming from they don't know if it's angry they don't know if that is a defense thing of like hey i'm here don't step on me or hey i'm here i'm about to fuck you up if you keep pushing me and so you have to cause a bit of commotion like that, or there has been commotion like that. And it is going to reveal to you very clearly the kind of people that need to be in your life and the kind of people that need to be removed from your life. Abundance in reverse is making me feel this fear-like energy and state that this, these other people have been and you have been in the past. But you know that abundance means more than just money. You know that abundance also means care and compassion and love and security. So for you, you are learning to not be afraid when the rest of the world is turned upside down. You are learning that you are going to be protected and taken care of by spirit and by being, yeah, you, you're going to have support. And that they are going to come in through these little creatures that remind you, like, hey, you're not alone, my love. And even this entire time, you may have noticed that I'm looking around. It's because there's an ant crawling around my curtains. And so for the insects and support to be coming in, reminding you that you're not alone, that you have gifts and resources to rely upon. Um, like, okay, your, your spirit uh, here as well. Please don't bite me because that's going to be annoying as hell to deal with. You're going through a rebirth, Virgo, and I don't want you to fear this because the biggest thing that stops an earth sign from their new beginning and their rebirth is the fear and the lack of knowing of who they will be on the other side of it. My love, allow yourself to be reborn without a mind. With, and what I, what, what I mean by that is without an idea or an image of who you have to become on the person that you need to be. Of course, you can have an idea, you can have an, uh, an image and a model piece, but it doesn't have to be so stringent upon that. It doesn't have to be copy and paste exactly the way you initially thought it of it because to get to the point of completion, you have to go through quite the journey, which means you will not be the same person at the end of it as you are now. So that also means that that dream that you have will change and allow it to, my love, because it's a further sign of how much you are growing and developing into the beautiful soul that you already are. Have a beautiful day, Virgo.